Yeah. Yeah. How you doing, y'all? Where's the music? There it is. We're on. How y'all doing? Welcome to the round table. We're live from Arlington, Texas. By the way, speaking. I will have to affirm you, Jay. I will have to affirm you because I am learning to use on Google when you say instead of typing in stuff to look up stuff, you say, "Okay, Google," and it'll pop up, and it says listening. So I say something to it, and it comes up several times now, non-recognizable, non-recognizable. And I'm thinking, dang, James. Not <laughs> perfect. <laughs> I mean, I mean this is all the Queen of English. We said things like, and what not Google stuff. That's exactly what it's going to say. I look at that, I win. Seriously, Google. At least it is like, what you just said to me? She talked back. She talked back. You remember on a car wash, Snoop was telling us that number, and he said, oh. And he was like, I'm sorry, I did not recognize oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to tell you a song real quick. I got to introduce all of that. Yeah, I have your song. I got to do it. Are we going to do the Jed? There's so many. I think it should be the fast forward. It's the only one. It's coming right now. Throw it out. Fast forward. I'm going to declare it to you, though. But I'm going to talk to you, though. I'm going to talk to you, though. But I don't think it's good anymore. That's all right. Historia line has a Mexican 
San Andreas <laughs> has an Ecuadorian, Sumatra, Minder, and has a Dominican and Nicaraguan still. Four gave me a couple of Now, the question for the day is. You can't have a question. The question of the day is question. Name the one that we are doing the one. Well, how do you pronounce this? Regis Cecilia. Uh, Who is this? Grandma. They're not named that. Grandma in law. Grandmother in law, yes. It's his wife's grandmother. Wife's grandmother. Grandmother in law. You can come in and say that. DJ will post the private part of this. I will. Oh, uh, All in all. No <laughs> Really? <laughs> now, I will say that the reason we're smoking the La Historia is in anticipation of, of October the 22nd. Thursday, October the 22nd, when we will be having an E.B. Carrillo event right here at the reserve trey andrews the rep for epc will be here in-house in -house. and we will have uh raffles we will have special we will have raffles we'll have special deals we have a lot a lot of historias all sizes we have a reserva we have a cabinet we have uh, a lot of historias <laughs> and the Oscuro, the other new one, yes. Apparently. Now, I've been told, and it kind of surprised me because one of our customers came in the other day and said uh, that this size of the torpedo tastes different than the other size. You know, it's the exact same. Oh. Yeah. See, I don't know. I've not smoked this size yet. Okay. And the interesting thing about this size is not only is it a torpedo, but it's a box press torpedo, which is unique. Oh, it's bad. Yeah. It's, it's not a round. It's a round, what they call a rounded box. Is it a rounded box? <laughs> As opposed to a square box? Yeah, we have got how many minutes in this show? How many minutes we have in this show? We are. I'm going to split up or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and stop right here. Hey, we're 13 minutes. I'm going to have to do a co op. They did a co op. I'm going to do a co op. Now, what I love about this this cigar is the presentation because it's so colorful. It's the teal foot. And you notice that the teal of the ribbon on the foot matches the teal in the band? Yep. Yep. You say it's hurting? So, no. This goes along with your idea is that on your foot, mm -hmm. you like to have the socks that match something that's either yeah. a shirt or something. Exactly. So, E.P. Carrillo has on his foot of his cigar matched the teal in the band. That's, that's right. Did you, were you a consultant? Or no, I was a consultant. So, has anybody spoke this particular science? Mike, oh, Mike, Mike is? Okay. <coughs> so, Mike, we can't answer this question. Ooh, if, like that. Well, because he's from. If you, if someone told you a Mexican San Andreas rapper, uh, an Ecuadorian Sumatra, and a Nicaraguan Dominican filler, what profile would you automatically think? I'm automatically think full body. I need a lot of Full body. See, I would have said uh, a little bit of spice. I would have not said sweet. Oh, you took my flavor. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah but. But I think it's overpowered. I would have said it's overpowered by the San Andreas Mexican San Andreas Anybody get anything off the code draw? I didn't do a code draw. I didn't do a code draw. I just want to jump right in it since Mike's ahead because this is the very light code draw. It's real bold. Okay. Okay. 
No, it's real faint, whatever it is. Okay. So Mike, have you smoked all of the sizes of the Lottie story? <coughs> this would be my favorite. This one? So it does taste different or just the size? It tastes different. But it intensifies the spice in the last third more than the other. Now, I've smoked the Donate Lane, I've smoked the E3, and I've smoked the Ocel. And for me, they were basically all the same, just different sizes. So I'm kind of anxious based on what you said that people were saying this is a different. That taste profile on that eventually probably was great. That's all you want to say. It was great. And, and, and it's what? That's all you got? Yeah, we just show it's going to pop you. It's all right, man, with any more. Oh, yeah. So, Keith. Hey, it is. What's your name here? So, before the show, guys, we were uh, having a conversation about every year, Keith and I make a bet on the Arkansas Alabama game for the birds. Not just the birds. In case, in case, cheeseburger, cheeseburger. Well, we worked at the back of the land, it was next door, so it was, it was accessible. So, and they delivered. So, a few years in a row, I've been freaking worse than the back row. So, I'm a, I'm a few years down right now, so I'm figuring this year I need a triple cheeseburger. Right, don't triple cheese. It's a triple lock. Yes, I have. He actually produced it. Yes, he actually paid up. Lord have mercy. Yeah. Five months later, but wow. he paid up. <laughs> really? Now, a guy from Mississippi came in here last night. We're not going to say his name. That's all, man. 
Yeah, he was like, yeah, he didn't have any food. He's like, hey, you got some mustard? I said, don't so put it on. He said, mustard is the old remedy of Mississippi for indigestion. Take four teaspoons and have mustard in your indigestion. Never heard that. Right? Yeah. He made it look so tasty, though. I just wanted to get it. Good. He big squeezed mustard on the bottom and ate it. There you go. Yep, four teaspoons up. He did that. Yep. Woo! This is small. Yeah, I don't know about smoking this cigar this time. Anybody eat? No. And you talk to folks right here that never eat, right? That's right, I know. I'm getting some pepper. Okay. I got nutty. I got a little bit of nut. Something going on. And a little bit of coconut. Yeah. Huh? I have a thought to her. I think she kind of re uh, evaluated herself. She's into the church. Coconut. Uh, maybe you should have. Uh, I'm so glad that she's in the church. Good. Yeah. Good from the church. Good from the Welcome back. So, let's continue this conversation about the cause. You know what's funny to me is my first talk to John Korea. I don't know. I'm going to bring my other candidate on the podcast on. I'll be 
got to the court, I'm bringing in Marissa. All right, I'm going to be Mr. Six Marissa. My name is Drew Twelve. Couldn't have you on the shirt. Six Marissa. You guys shoot one on every single home. Shoot it down. I'm telling you what we're going to do. Let's shoot it down every single home. And you guys come to the show. You have to get that. You have to smoke a digger. No, we're bringing eight. Just go for digger and three, eight or eight two. Eight four. Why don't you going up? You're making it enough. Well, you said 12. It's gone down. I went down. You can't handle 12. Mm-hmm. You are okay. And I could handle something. Here early in the morning, I would be able to get off. Probably tapped out of my phone. Okay. What is a Marissa? It's a very, very strong, healthy deal. Oh, it's beer. Very, 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 very strong. So, yeah. Bell, does that mean it's a dark beer? It's 13. It's one of the highest alcohol content. Really? But it's very heavy. We drank one on Mike's birthday. Uh, Sunday. Oh, that's right. Yeah. It's my birthday. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's so good. It was like a rich coconut. No, it's no. a no. uh, collaboration between Stone and uh, Back to better hands. Oh. 
No, you're not. You're, you're, not, not, you're not always literal because you say I'll see you in a minute. In my mind, I'm, it's going to be a minute. Well, that's a, that's 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 uh. When you say I'll see you in a minute, that's like I'll holler at you later. I'll scream at me. That's my show. Scream at me. Yeah. That's the whole. Yeah, that's E40. You know what I mean? Like E40. And then oh, he's heard E40 talking to E40. He won't even understand a word of what E40 is saying. Right. Well, I don't even right. know what E40 is. There you go. Right. Ponzarelli starts off in cycles. Spell me. So, this is the cigar. <laughs> we don't take some black ones. Yes. Yes. No, we haven't said what you look for. You know I am getting that cedar on the top of that. Light cedar and that pepper. Well, I don't spice it at all, but it does have that pepper. I've got cocoa. A little bit of cocoa on that. I guess from the cocoa. It's mostly always had a little bit of cocoa. Right. What are you drinking with it? Yeah. Now you have It's kind of weird because you would shoot a lot of it. Right. I wouldn't drink it either. No beer? Actually, the only beer I probably drink is like beer. Okay. I smoke Coke if I have it. I drink a Coke. Don't worry. You want to smoke Coke. You want have something like that at a state fair. Speaking of that, did you hear what I was asked on Saturday by a new customer? Louder? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this couple comes in, and she's just gotten off work. She didn't know about this place. She walks in. They're walking around. I'm showing them around. Show them the back. She comes out, and she says, can we smoke weed in here? Kush. That's what it was. You probably don't. I did not. I said, can we smoke Kush in here? And the only way I knew what she was talking about was, her husband or boyfriend or whatever says, you know, you can't smoke that weed in here. Oh, man. It was so disgusting. He got us out of his chair. <laughs> you know how disrespectful that is? <laughs> <laughs> kind of like the speed on the Yeah. But anyway, kind of like the Detroit line, right? You know how disgusting that is? I really thought he was about to jump off. I'm almost like, Mike, turn around. I thought he was really about to jump off the stick. Man down. Oh, I'm waiting on that. Come in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, 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 wait up. Yeah, yeah. We can use my toes. We can use my toes. Yeah. I guess uh, nobody's heard about the franchise quarterback. Franchise quarterback. And the best wide well, receiver ever. ever. And every time he says that, I just say, oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> Not for our microphones all the time. Oh, man. What's going on Saturday night here? Okay, hold on. I don't know. But I'm sure if it's Oh, that was your song. The after club at the after party. That was it. That was it. Yeah. 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 So the word on the street is that I'm always looking for the after party. Yeah. 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 I'm looking for it. Keep talking. All right, I'm gonna talk for you. Yeah. The fiesta, the fiesta. Okay, keep talking. This off. This went off. Oh wow! This is really, really, this is really cool bottles. You want to throw a bottle? No. And the show was the after party. Hey. Hey. After the party, the hotel lobby. Oh. After the building, it's probably grand. Mm. And after the fiesta. <laughs> Fiesta, Fiesta. Oh, that's your big song. So the all black party. Please let's elaborate on what that is. Huh? The all black party, the all black, all black smokeout is Saturday night, seven o'clock. Happy birthday! Please, please tell us the all black, black party means that you have to wear all black. Okay. Mm -hmm. Touch with a splash of red. A splash of red. Yeah, we're not. That's Saturday red. night, right? Yep. So you can wear this, so you'll be fine. Because they have a splash of red. Okay, I'm about to say, you got to be all right. Red Snickers. I'm coming next to this. Red Snickers. You got red Snickers? Oh, you say Snickers. That's a can for 
Man, you can tell I'm coming up with So I can wear my black pennies? He's going to have a black roll tie shirt on. I will. I already know. I will. Because it has a splash of red on your, your black championship hat. I will. That's got splash. That's a little bit more dressy, though. You have to have one with a black button down. Bring it. Hey, hey, you come as you are, Keith. Hey, bring your draw with you. That is dressed up. Hey, roll tie. You wear a tuxedo shirt. I like part of it. All black. So I just want to clarify that you just got the all black party. Oh, no, everybody's I thought it was kind of black. I don't know. I was confused. First time. I was going to take it. 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 Years ago, I had this conversation with Keith. I said, Keith, I got to go work an all white party tonight. He looked at me. I was just a couple months ago. Huh? No, no, I mean, some years ago when, yeah, when we first started, when we first did. They say, you think you want to go to that party? Right. I mean, I have a job for you. You're going to an all-white party? <laughs> Why are you working? Right. Yeah. They don't have to do with that. A couple months ago. I heard Keith's response on that. Right. Uh-huh. So, yeah, but it's going to be a good time, though. If you wear all-black, you get uh, 10% off the cigars all night. That's right. You get maxed with the house in the kitchen. Yep. You don't face the DJ. That would be DJ Max. Oh, Max? Is that what you asked me for? Not here. No, I asked. I didn't ask. He didn't ask. I asked. Anyway. Right. So, Max. Max is a good guy. Max. I'm like, did he say for a ring? Yeah, I'm saying one of all. You can always punch three. He's not hurt. He's gonna play the kid in the chest. 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 Oh, okay. wow. okay, right. You like Bruce Springsteen? I can see him like this. You don't have to put on red lights. Are you still married so long? To who? Uh, uh, man, I don't know who they married. Oh, uh, uh, I like it. Yes, guy. Man down. He's got to Oh, my God. Oh, boy. You know? <laughs> I am represented. I just did eat. Thank you. 
I'm not getting that cocoa last thing that came. Why don't you set it up? Dominican filler, which also make an 
Yeah. 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 Y
that that whole when he left, it pretty much the whole club house. Nobody liked it. You can't play or work with people who don't. Like it. So that's that's why I think they're where they are now. But what they like about Hamilton, Hamilton is clear. That's why it makes it clear. Yeah, football playoffs. Yeah, baseball playoffs. 
And James and I sat here and watched the Dallas Mavericks first two Don't get no better than October. Yeah. Hey, yeah and then, and the beer. You don't like soccer. Okay. But for me, it's also hard to start qualifying for the major market. You start qualifying the World Cup. You also start qualifying for the Dallas Mavericks. So I'm talking to this I'm in heaven. Right. I'm in heaven. I always hate after the last thought of one game over. Now you've got this. It's an average. I said we went fishing. They told me I was crazy last night. I don't know what they were saying. We're hoping it's pretty bad. That's what they said. I'm definitely thinking about that. Yeah. We won 50 games in the last 15 years. The last 15 years. I'll find a way to keep Carson. But that's just totally good. Yeah. 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 But he fall down in Houston. He played in Houston. He was Houston. And so that's right when we got him. That was his first year that he had played in history. I mean, he was first at it. He got re injured that same thing in the last eight years, which I don't think it's going to be about first year. I think it's about the same thing. Yeah. And thank you, James Harden, for opening your big mouth because he's the reason why we got Channel Park. He was like, there's only one superstar on the team, which is me, Channel Park. He's like, oh, is that right? Well, I'm out. Are you really happy that we got here? We don't pay for me. Just take one of them. Exactly. That's an absolute thing. That's an absolute thing. Cuban was a billionaire. I'm 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 a billionaire
Baylor and Oklahoma. And Oklahoma is the money money. I mean, they do nothing. That's true. For years. I told James this story the other day. Saturday night, I was in the store. This lady had her on TV shirt. And she said, uh, I said, good game today. You know, and she said, uh, yeah, we, we won. You know, I was like, yeah. She said, what's the final score? I said, 15 7. She said, dang it. I said, wait, I'm not sure what I'm saying. We let them score? You just don't get it. It's like, you arrogant, pompous, son of a gun. Say, like, so now, I can tell you this from, from going to Washington. And for now, this is how I test. We don't, we will not allow them to discredit it. They come with their mouth, it's from soft attack. We do not allow that. So they would do this sharp stuff at a cell game, they can't do the sharp stuff at a cell game. But we're tired of it being disrespected by Colts. We're tired of this thing by everybody because we don't expect those people out. So now the coach shakes his block and we're told about it, right? You gotta remember last year, the last game, he was moving the ball down the goal line. I remember he moved it down and made it to a golden point. I love him for that. So what Gary's saying is, I don't like him that. But that's what y'all want to do to you. Based that upon the line that we had in the 
Yeah. On paper, so that there's yeah, on paper we look good. Yeah. But yeah, when you're talking about that. I've got all kinds of lines. I've never been to Alabama. I was in the white. What is Arkansas? No good. Yeah. The product, the other word product? Jimmy Johnson came out of the But if you come out of the beginning of the season, you have an offensive line that averages 6, 10, 350 pounds. You automatically going to say, oh, these guys are going to do something. And what did Captain Jeff do? And all over the same thing that we were seeing every play within 15 seconds. So by the time of the first quarter of the second win, now we're talking about the right? So yeah, you have to catch the big guys, but as your boy said, talk to your coach. He said, yeah, you know the story we split off and you kicked your ass. That's all I know. And then what happened to King Bird next week? Hey, well, you can't have a cross because it's not sick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 
I was smoking and I would eat. I smoked. I Who are you? Yeah. 